Why is Trumbull such a popular spot amongst home buyers in Connecticut? Let's find out why. Hi, I'm Stacy Olson with the Valentini team at William Ravis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about living on the coast. So what are the top five things people love about Trumbull? Let's get started. But first, let me give you a quick rundown on the town. Trumbull is a beautiful town in Fairfield County, Connecticut. It sits directly north of Fairfield, Bridgeport, and Stratford, and just due west of Shelton, Connecticut. I've talked about most of these in some other videos. It's a medium-sized town. It has approximately 36,000 residents and offers great amenities and recreational opportunities, but still has that small town charm. As you drive around, you're gonna see a mix of different home styles, from smaller ranch type homes that may have built in the 50s and 60s, to very large colonials that were built within the last 20 years. Most homes in Trumbull will have at least a half an acre of property, if not a lot more, depending on where you are in the town. Trumbull is one of the more expensive areas around here. So at the end of June 22, the median home price was $565,000. So a little higher than some of the other areas I've spoken about. Many people focus on Trumbull, especially clients I have that are coming from New York State. They are always fixated on Trumbull and there's many reasons why. So let's start off with number one, they have an excellent school system. Trumbull is known for having an amazing school district. This becomes the focus of many people moving here, especially when they have families. But that can also bring some sticker shock because you're going to pay with higher real estate costs and higher taxes. But many people are willing to overlook that because they want the great schools for their kids. And if you want to find out how great Trumbull is, go to niche.com or greatschools.org to see how it's rated against all other towns in the state of Connecticut. Another great thing about moving to Trumbull is that you have access to the Merritt Parkway and I-95. Many folks that move into the area are still commuting to either lower Fairfield County or into New York City. And though Trumbull doesn't have a Metro North station, they are only about 15 or 20 minutes away from two that are located in Fairfield, Connecticut. But they do have two access points onto the Merritt Parkway. You can get it from either Main Street or from the Route 25 connector. Trumbull, though by no means cheap, is one of the more affordable areas in Fairfield County. When you compare it to Gold Coast areas in Connecticut, like Greenwich, Darien, Westport, even Fairfield, or even some of the more interior towns like Wilton, New Canaan, or Weston. I mean, you can't touch homes in those towns for under 750 to a million dollars. But in Trumbull, if you have that kind of budget, you can really get an amazing home. Another great thing about Trumbull is how much outdoor space and parks they have. I'm not gonna talk about all of them because truly there are a ton. So I'm just gonna focus on a couple here in this video. First, Indian Ledge Park. This is a massive park. And not only does it have a ton of recreational opportunities, but it also hosts many events throughout the year. I know many years ago I actually went to an Irish festival there and the place is huge. They had those massive tents that you see set up, you know, for everyone to come in, like vendors and music. So they definitely do a lot for the community. Some of the great amenities that you'll see at Indian Ledge Park, they have an amphitheater, they have an artificial turf field, BMX racing track, bocce courts, they have a playground. They have a radio control track. So if you have like RC cards, then you can go there and race them around this track. They have the softball fields. They have the teen youth center, the Trumbull dog park. I mean, this park really has a lot for the town of Trumbull. Another great trail is the Pequannock River Trail. And this has many, many miles and spans over several towns in lower Fairfield County. It actually runs from Bridgeport all the way up to Newtown. So this is a long trail. Trails here really run the gamut. So depending on your skill level, you should be able to find something that works for you. 
There's a two and a half mile former railroad bed, which is very flat versus many steeper terrain uh, trails that go up along either side of the river. So depending on what you're looking for, you should be able to find it here. And the best part about the Pequonic Trail is that you don't need a Trumbull Park and Rec sticker on your car to go there. I think it's because it spans across so many different towns that they really can't do that. So that's really great. So anybody can really go there, park and hike these trails. But one thing I did want to mention is that Indian Ledge that I mentioned earlier, you definitely need that Trumbull parking pass because otherwise you can get a ticket. And lastly, I'm going to mention Old Mine Park. This is kind of tucked away in the corner behind Route 111 and is settled against the Pequonic River. This land was previously named by the Native Americans based on the quartz that was found there. There was tremendous quartz back in this area. Quartz was used to make miscellaneous tools and arrowheads, so the Native Americans really relied on it and really put a value into it. Even today, there still exists what they call the cut, and it's a large hole located in the park that's roughly 100 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 60 feet deep. I know, that's kind of scary. Now, many years ago, someone actually got stuck down there for over a day, and they had to come in and rescue them. But now it is securely uh, situated with a fence around it, so it should be obvious where not to go but still cool to think that this was mined over hundreds of years ago and that it's still there today. Another great thing that Trumbull offers is entertainment. There's a lot of options in Trumbull, to be honest with you. They have a Westfield Mall, which has been going through a renovation, I'd say the last 10 to 15 years. So it's quite nice now. I remember going there as a kid and it kind of was getting run down, but now it really truly is a very nice mall. They also have the Holly Lane Mall, which is kind of small. You know, it's not like the, what you would typically think of a mall. There's a couple of big box stores like a Kohl's and a Home Goods, and then not directly attached to the mall, but a little bit up the hill from it is a Target. So it really is a destination. So if you're looking for, you know, a shopping opportunity between the Westfield Mall and the Holly Lane Mall, I think you're covered. Also, there's a movie theater there. It used to be called Bowtie Cinemas, but recently I saw on the news that AMC had purchased them. And I think they are still open, but they are going through you know, a renovation to go from one company to the other. But they're definitely still showing movies because when I went to shoot this video, the parking lot was packed. Trumbull also has two town pools. I know, I couldn't believe that. I, I had just moved out of a town that didn't even have one, never mind two. <laughs> Um, so I actually remember as a kid going attached to a pool because friends of our family lived there. And the best thing about it is that they had this really high diving board there. It is so cool. Like all the kids, were, you know, want to get on that diving board. So it is nice that they have two pools there. And last but not least, they have Tashua Knowles and Tashua Glen golf course. So if you're a golfer, there's plenty of opportunity to go here and use the facilities. And I'd say the last thing that's so great about Trumbull is that they have that small town feeling, even though they really aren't a small town. For example, they have Plasco's Farm. Plasco's Farm originated in 1925 by first generation immigrants from Czechoslovakia. And about 25 years ago, went through an expansion. So not only was it used for farming of corn and other produce, but they also decided to add a nursery, a country store, and a full-blown bakery. And most recently, they added a creamery. Ah, oh, who doesn't love ice cream? And honestly, everybody knows Plasco's Farm and the place is always hopping because their ice cream is great. And as a side note, Plasco's Farm is the last remaining fully operational farm in the town of Trumbull. So really go support them because it means a lot when you support a small local business like that. Another great small town feel thing is that in the summer, they have a summer concert series near the town hall and gazebo that they have right in the center of Trumbull. And it's held every Tuesday from seven to 8.30. Also in the summer, they run kid-friendly movies at Tashua Pool. So they have open swim followed by a movie. So what's better than that? Have your kids go swimming, they get out, they get all comfy, and then you watch a movie together as a family. 
And now as an added bonus, I'm gonna talk about a couple restaurants in Trumbull that always get thumbs up from me. First, Prime 111. This is more what I would call a steakhouse. Yes, they have other things on the menu other than steak, but they really have a really high quality selection of meats. So if you're going there, you really should splurge and go for the steak. And this restaurant is by no means like cheap, like you're gonna bring the kids and have a great cheap meal. It's definitely a little on the expensive side, but well worth it. Another great place to eat is Old Town Restaurant. This place has been there for years and they want people to think of them as American modern with a classic twist. And they have a large menu, so there's options there for everyone. They have pizza, sandwiches, burgers, but you know, they also have regular dinners and entrees like pasta and chicken and beef and pork. Even veal, I think, is on their menu. And I've been there several times and I always have a great meal. And lastly, Sitting Duck Tavern. This is really an American tavern or pub, I guess you would call it. And they use regionally grown fresh produce and products in all of their meals. They have salads, sandwiches, burgers, and a small list of dinner entrees. But the best part about it is that they have a huge beer list. So if you're someone that likes craft beers, you definitely need to go there and have a burger and a beer and just enjoy yourself. Have I sold you on Trumple yet? If not, have you ever thought about Shelton? Check out my video on Shelton to find out what amazing things are going on there today. I actually did a two part series on it, so you should check out the other video as well. And if you like my videos in general, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next week.